Superman is back. This is the Funeral for a Friend epilogue. Superman number 83. Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Gun TV where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. As I said guys, Superman is back. This is the Funeral for a Friend epilogue, Superman number 83. This came out in 1993 and this takes place directly after Superman number 82 and The Adventures of Superman number 505. Uh, it actually takes place more direct immediately after 505. Uh, we'll go be going over these issues at a later time, though. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, here's the whole Justice League. Uh, we've got S Sentinel, the original Green Lantern, Alan Scott. Uh, I believe that's Maxima there. Uh, we got Hawkman. Uh, we got Firestar. We got Doctor Fate. We got Captain Marvel. We got Obsidian, Wonder Woman, Metamorpho. Uh, Black Canary, Green Arrow, I'm not sure who that guy is, but we got Green Lantern, Supergirl, Guy Gardner, and The Flash, as well as Jade and Superman. We open with Superman in Gotham City. Uh, this is a famous mulleted Superman. <laughs> I'm not sure why they gave him a mullet, but it is what it is. And he's having Commissioner Gordon summon Batman. Uh, Batman shows up and he looks a lot different than Superman remembers. Uh, you have to remember, Superman hasn't seen Batman in many months. Uh, he hasn't seen Batman since before he died. And during this time, uh, during the time when Superman was gone, that's when the whole Nightfall uh, it, story arc took place, which we'll also be going over pretty soon. So, And he realizes that he sounds different. Uh, he doesn't realize that it's not Bruce Wayne underneath the cowl. It's Jean-Paul Valley, And he says he's going to use his x-ray vision, um, kind of under his breath. Uh, but Commissioner Gordon, he asks if he said something. And Superman just says, no, just my imagination, Commissioner. Thanks for your help. So then Lex Luthor is with his team Lex and Supergirl. Uh, they're planning to go to Engine City. Uh, Engine City was the... What the cyborg Superman and Mongol constructed on what used to be Coast City. They wiped out the entire city of Coast City, which is also what drove Hal Jordan insane to become Parallax. Uh, in order to build this engine city to turn Earth into a new war, war, war world. Uh, we get Lois Lane and Jimmy Olsen. Uh, Superman return. Uh, we get Mon Pa Kent. He f swoops in, gives Ma some flowers. And she realizes their son is back. Uh, we get Cat Grant, the producer of her show. Then we get to Engine City, where Lex is on a mission to get to the city's main computer to retrieve some information. And he stumbles upon the Justice League is already there. They're planning on uh, removing Engine City so that uh, to create a memorial for Coast City. Uh, they're all trying to figure out how to do this. Green Gardener says he just wants to put the entire thing into the ocean. But, of course, Aquaman comes in and says, No, that would pollute my kingdom. We're not doing that. Why don't we just take it into outer space? Get a nice scene of Hal Jordan right there. He's very emotional. He's trying not to let on as much, though. But we know he's... He's got some demons coming. Uh, then some of Mongol's forces are still in Engine City and they attack and force the Justice League to jump into action. Alan Scott leads some a group of ring wielders, which consists of himself, Guy Gardner, his daughter Jade, and Hal Jordan, to try and catch all the um, debris and everything and take it away to keep it from falling into the ocean. In case you're wondering why Hal Jordan has his arm in a sling, this happened during the final issue of Reign of the Superman in his actual Green, -ish, Green Lantern issue, which took place at the same time as the final issue of Reign of the Superman. Mongol snapped his arm. But the Justice League is trying like hell to keep this uh, engine city from polluting Arthur's oceans. Uh, eventually, 
they construct this eternal flame monument to honor the people that died during uh, Kosoji's destruction. And then we end with Clark Kent coming to Jimmy's uh, apartment asking if the offer still stood uh, for them to be roommates. Of course, Jimmy says yes, and we end with it there. This was a pretty good issue. It was pretty memorable as uh, the first time Superman met uh, the um, Azrael Batman. Uh, it's always stuck in my memory, especially that scene right at the beginning. Uh, I, I, I really like this issue. It really shows that, you know, they didn't ignore, Jurgens didn't ignore uh, the events that took place during the reign of the Superman. Uh, but he brought him to a close. He honored Coast City's destruction. And it really paved the way for... We saw uh, the fire really ignite, beginning to ignite in Hal Jordan to uh, become Parallax. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, my friends.